This is a Super Magicom for Super Nintendo. Uh, I picked this up the other day. We're going to try to see if we can save games from here onto a floppy disk, which is... It's got its own drive. It's pretty cool. Um, we're also going to see if we can load games from the floppy onto the Super Nintendo itself. So this is the Super Magicom MS3201. I don't have an actual Super Nintendo, so I've hooked it up to this thing. I tried to get the output to my TV over here to the side. However, the AV input hits this plastic, so uh, it's, it's not going to work. And I tried to use an external controller. The system doesn't want to boot up. This thing works just fine as long as you plug a cartridge or don't use any accessories. So I'm um, surprised the, the, the Magicom actually works. What we're going to do is turn it on. This thing actually feeds power from here, from the system itself, so I had to fully charge this. I don't have a Super Nintendo. However, the drive actually requires external power, which is nice that it wouldn't take all the power from the Super Nintendo, because a portable like this wouldn't be able to power any of that stuff whatsoever. So we'll go ahead and turn it on. And uh, this is what comes up. You have run file, run IC card, select as menu, up and down, choose, B is accept. Tells you how much RAM, uh, the card itself. I think that's talking about the card. Uh, so if I go to, I'm not gonna run, a B is accept, which is kind of weird. Yep, see I'm just running the game. Let's run it right through. Turn that off. Turn it back on. And go select the menu. Now if I want to format a disc, I will take my neon pink floppy disk, pop it in here, and format. Now it's a 1.44, so I don't need to select anything else. Ah, oh, it's right protected. That is no fun for anybody. Now it's formatting. I'm going to let this run its course. Sorry, I forgot to turn on the power for this one here. Um, so we're going to go select format disk pop that in and you get no sort of satisfying click or anything it's actually a pretty loose drive when you put that in um, it doesn't turn green or anything like it's going to load uh, format or go there we go as you can tell it's turning orange it's formatting all the sectors all right save ic card we're going to go save ic card which is i got judge dread in there new name let's go with dread and bees accept so it's writing the game to the floppy disk. Well, that sucks. Um, and there's some technical difficulties. So that didn't work. We're going to try NBA Jam. We're going to go to save IC card. And we'll get this to save on to floppy. I don't know how to choose a different disk. That didn't work. So what I'm going to do is it came with King of the Rally, if you can see that. My lighting's a little too bright. Yeah, I'm going to see that pop that in we're gonna back on out of this abort select menu run file and as you can see I've still got NBA jam up here we're gonna run file it's reading from there oh well I gotta <laughs> press a button <laughs> yeah <laughs> as a watch it do its own thing And see, it did load. King of the Rally. So it does load, and this thing does work. These are pretty hard to find. I just walked into my local game store, and it was there for 50 bucks. So I picked it up. Uh, not having a Super Nintendo, I remembered it had this thing. Um, so I'm going to have to do some more research. I'll probably do a part two on figuring out how to get them all the games to actually save on here. Like the video if you like the video, subscribe to see more of my ramblings, and press thumbs down if I suck. Thank you, please. So when it's formatting, like, does that mean it's like compacting the game, or is it like... No, formatting transferring? is just wiping, wiping the disc.